You have learned about the different types of quadrilaterals and let's apply some of that knowledge here. Explain why quadrilateral WXYZ is a kite and write down all the properties of quadrilateral WXYZ. Please pause the video and try on your own. Now, when we are given a kite, we are typically given the convex kite, okay? So the one where the bottom sides protrude out at a convex. The one that you've been given here is actually a concave kite. So if we just think of the convex kite and all the properties that we know, we know that the adjacent sides or the pairs of adjacent sides are equal. This is in a pair of adjacent sides because they share a common vertex. This is a pair of adjacent sides that are equal because they share a common vertex. If we draw the diagonal from the, that vertex to the bottom vertex, it bisects the angle at the top and it will bisect the angle at the bottom. It will also have this angle equal and that angle equal because if you can see these two triangles are actually congruent so the opposite pairs of equal parts are all equal in each triangle so those will all be the equal angles if we draw in the horizontal diagonal it will meet the vertical diagonal at a 90 degree angle and it will also be bisected okay so those are all of the properties of the convex kite if we take a look at the kite that we were given if we extend the vertical diagonal and we fill in the horizontal diagonal, it will look like that. They will still meet at a 90 degree angle, and this will still be equal to that. It will still be bisected. Okay, let's make a list of all the properties. Before that, we need to explain why this quadrilateral is a kite, and we can see that Z is a common vertex that has two equal adjacent sides meeting at it, and X is also a vertex that has two equal adjacent sides meeting at it. So this shape is a kite, because both pairs of adjacent sides are equal. Okay, so the list of the remaining properties. We know that this diagonal from X through to, let's call this point A, bisects the angle at the top. So X1 will be equal to X2. We also know that Z5 will be equal to Z4. So this angle will be equal to that angle. And we know that W6 will be equal to Y3. W6 will be equal to Y3. So those are the pairs of angles that are equal. We will know that XA is perpendicular to y, WY because they are the, that is the intersection of the, of the diagonals. We also know that WA will be equal to AY. And that is the list of all the remaining parts of those um, properties of that kite.